The Cleeper is fighting, we know we rage in a war, we won't let him go. Even if the world don't It's got rhythm and energy and lyrics in English and Hebrew. It's a rap clip about God and faith with more than a million hits on YouTube. And it's led American rapper Nisim Black here to Israel's Tel Aviv airport. Nisim's bringing his wife and four children from their hometown of Seattle to a new life in Jerusalem. I'm feeling very, very happy right now. Very excited. <laughs> very excited. I'm happy because we're home and we, we made it. We made it. <laughs> Nisim converted to Judaism in 2013. He changed his name and his appearance. And this is how he sounded only a few years ago. Back then, he was D Black, a Seattle rapper. His parents were musicians, but also drug dealers. I always say I didn't grow up in the streets, but the streets grew up in my house. So I was very, very exposed to, to a lot of different things. I started smoking pot when I was, in the, when I was 10 years old. Started dealing it when I was when I was 12 years old. After his parents were jailed, his Muslim grandfather came to raise him. Nisim was a Muslim, then a Christian, until one day he went into a synagogue and was hooked to his wife's surprise. He had recently lost his mother, leaving his father and his sister behind without even consulting with me. Like it was weird. Like he decided that he wanted to just learn. Like, just learn all day. Call me me, seem you can call me niece. Call me whatever, but the black isn't he. I moved on, I'm way gone. He died, trust I was there to see. Nisim persuaded his wife to study Judaism along with him. And in the end, they both converted. But one thing has never changed his passion for music. Rap is a tool. It's not, uh, it's not in itself. It exists as it's a world because look at me. You could take a guy like uh, Mac Lamore. We both used rap, but in minds, I'm talking about serving God. And his song, he's talking about buying clothes at a thrift store. So it's just a tool. It's not, uh, it's not a world in and of itself, you know? Now Nisim divides his time between music and prayer. He's recording a new album and hopes to soon perform in his new country.